I'm all about cracks. Mm -hmm. I pushing the chair back there. I'm all about cracks. I, I, you know, I love evaluating them just for the sport of them, if you will. They all mean something. All cracks mean something. I have a video content of this in just a moment. But let's look at this crack here. Let's put the magnifier on it. And let's take in the data. So this is open. This is open in contact point to your left. And here we have another crack here. And the crack goes all the way down to the to the to the base. Is it a compressive crack? Well, how can it be compressive if there's an open gap there? So it can't be compressive from here, just a uh, like a, a split, a fracture because of the, because of that. So then we'll just move this out of the way. Let's move this out of the way a little bit and move this one over. Now you can see the crack much more defined. Let's go at the magnifier again. So now you see the fracture. And there it's continue, continuing. This is a little corbel detail that it went through. So the fracture is actually behind a corbel detail, and the corbel just was in the way, just fractured it. And there's that beautiful fracture all the way down to the base. But we don't find the fracture above this point. So let's go ahead and tie the fractures in from our contact point. That would be here. Let's sort of align the, the fractures. And it presents like that, doesn't it? But in reality, it's, it's connected. So it's sort of like that. So it's almost a straight line, but then this, this corbel has got, when it, you know, it's throwing off the visual line side of it. Hmm. So loads like to go off on a 45, and by chance, there's a 45. Let's look at the content. Let's put this in context with the video. Oops. Okay, so we have a nice looking roof here. Meaning the roof is flat, it's not falling down. You see no buckling or creasing or anything else like that. It's a little mortar joint there, but here we go. On this column. What do you observe? And there's that opening, that, 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 that opening, that tension opening. So it puts compression only over here. The support, the structure is right here. So there's where the column's out of alignment. There. And what we'll causes this column? And there's a slight bit of opening there, a little bit, I'm not sure. So that Let's do this. I want to go slow now. I want to be able to show it to you. So there you see the crack, the corbel. There's more cracks. I'm just going to, I'm going to do a narrate over top of my own video. And look at the little jog of it, how the stress is made it around. It's just stone and things like that it's making around. Otherwise it would it would go straight, but it's got to make it around the stone. And there's a fracture, very fine, going down to the base. It presents like a very fine. Okay, so let's go with and I don't know what this is. This is a, a, a paste on top of it. Somebody patched it, so we don't really see the crack there. You can look for it all you want. It's not shouldn't be really present. Some spalling going on of the of that patchwork. But you see the porch leans down from there to the steps. And it presents like they did a new concrete porch. So over here, what do they do? You can see it's it's you see it's dipping here and then back up over here to a kind of flat. So it's kind of dipping there, so they, you put this plumb, this flat thing on top of this concrete deck. And you have a, a, a change of direction, if you will, with the other bricks, or the other smaller dimensional stone on top, this on top of here. 
he did get some settlement at one time. I think this is a paste or a repair over top of existing porch. Could be even an old brick porch that they did that. And what happens is the uh, the porch settled. It rotated. It settled to the right, dropping down. And that makes that new load path not not across the gap, obviously. You can put, you know, paper through there. So the low path is out here, just, just needing a little bit more of a dip, and then it will just kick out totally. Someone asked me, how much can the, the columns move before failure? Well, it depends on the load, you know? It depends on the load and how much base contact, etc. What's Obviously, this one can take, can do that much. Now, th th these gaps aren't compressive. They're apart. You can put slides, some type of caliper measurement between them so that shows you it fractured fully you know fully through it went all the way through the other side also I looked at it not in this video so here we have looks like a skim coat is what I'm driving at over top of maybe some I don't know what they did there brickwork there this 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 area is known for a lot of water issues and the foundations around there. A lot of water issues. It's right by the river. Um, and the, I find this beautiful crack to start evaluating. I find this beautiful crack to start evaluating. So what do you guys think? Guys and girls, that one looks that one looks pretty open to me. Looks pretty open to me, so I'd have might have to change my 45 since that's open. Change it from here to here. That's more more in line. It made it down to here, and then it 45 there, and that's where our main stresses and the rotation of the floor gives us our crack, our opening. Definitely got a rotation in the, in the column. And you get that by sinking in the floor. Very interesting. Um, you know, it doesn't look like much to most people, but to me, I like the transition, the, the movement from the uh, an open an open uh, creation to this crack down here. How did we get there from here out of a sh shifted column? And I have the, I'm getting there by having the floor dropping to the right. Let the floor drop to the right and created that column that in the mid span of this whole entire column. Let's see if we can get zoom out. Here we go, right about there somewhere. That the rotation caused the the uh, reaction right about here. And a little bit there. So it would be more so here. So it would be right about, you know, right here is where this column is rotating, uh, uh, rotating inwards at a plumb. So, mm -hmm. here we go. So support the, support the roof. Make sure this is stable. Put a new column in. You could uh, try to grout that, plumb, grout that in to, so the loads are transferred back down again because they'll, they'll try to do that if you can grout it where it's 100% grouted, but you still got two columns here now. You got a split base. You got a split base, so you're really going to have to to get this load path going back there. Lift it, lift this up. Push that column back over. Get it plumb. Get that column plumb. Because it, even if you imagine, if I just put caulk in here, it's still good. The load path is still this way. So so what that I put? I feel I close the gap. The tension is still there, this direction. Filling it up with mortar didn't change anything. I didn't create a new load path. All I did was, uh, you know, hide the tension, the, the, the true road path, which is over here. And that's why I said lift it up, um, get this thing grouted back in. If you can lift the deck back up and put it back down. But that's going to require you to... Uh, you know, you got to get rid of these stones. They got to go. They got to go. Now, if you could, um, hmm, that split there. 
you got to see how much how much is out of plumb, but just get rid of them to go with a brick column. I mean a block column. Just block straight up, but you got to get start. You got to get it plumb. All right, just want to share some some stuff with you here and some interesting cracks. Let's see if I can get to the end of the video and see what we have here. And there's your roof, still flat, so it's still salvageable. Just fix this column. Fix the column. So that's where we are with that. This column needs to be fixed. And grouting it does, does not fix it. All right, something for you guys to look at. And... Cracks. Love them. Love cracks. They tell a story. Each crack tells a story. This crack tells a story of a new load path. This crack right here. It's opening. These, this crack is connected to this story over here, which is connected from the roof. The roof story. The roof is loading on here. Snow loads being more than that. But more than, uh, more loads. Rain loads. Yeah. Snow loads, yes. All right. So now we get a rotation. You also have a, a, if it rotates. If we can find a crack here, which I couldn't in a couldn't with, with the skim coat, the uh, that it would also be a pressure up from the roof, a pressure uh, the downward force of the of the tent, of the overhang of the deck of the roof the roof the roof deck, and the rotation is the is the uh, the prying up of the floor into this connection here which gets you your fracture also. Hmm. And there's your, and this one we can move to, we can move it to here if you like. Kind of like it there myself. It, it might have been here and then this might be in secondary. As it's failing more, it might have opened up more and moved from there. So I think it's primary. And then maybe, so primary might have been something like this at one time. And then, as it's still collapsing over these, over this progressive collapse, very slowly through creep, it might look like that. So the forces made it down, 45 over, and there we go. Because we have, the reason why I chose that was because we have an opening. We still have an opening to address, which is a secondary opening right there right there and it appears that I could possibly shift that over a little bit so I could shift this over just a little bit to there and then here I could maybe that was primary or something like that okay interesting interesting crack I just want to share with you some crack so I'm sharing my crack with you, and if we had a pipe, if this was a broken pipe, I'd be sharing my crack pipe with you. All right, take care.